To the victor belong the spoils. History is seldom, if ever, written by the victim, and presenting its own version is usually considered unacceptable protest and met with vitriol from the victors. The producers of Trianon are willing to accept the possibility of such a response and will consider it the price for presenting verifiable facts that resulted in the crucifixion of Greater Hungary. The place of the crucifixion? The Trianon Palace of Versailles. The time, June 4th, 1920. Friday. At that time, I was a 14-year-old schoolboy. Our botany lesson started at 10 o'clock, and Damien Kovac, our tall, gaunt teacher, appeared at the door, on time as always. He walked to his chair, sat down, and wrote in the grade book, but he did not begin the usual roll call. With his head bowed for quite some time, he stared down in front of himself, and then the bells started to toll. Mr. Damien Kovac walked to the cabinet and took out a map with the following label the political map of the countries of the Holy Crown of Hungary. He hung it up in front of the class without saying a word, and then he stood beside the map so that all of us could see it. Then he started staring at it with an expression that defies description, with a stern appearance that we had never seen on his usually strict and austere face. We were silently looking at the map and this Cistercian priest with his graying hair standing in front of it, with his head bowing ever closer to his chest, and in the silence that was amplified by the peal of the bells, he said more to himself than to us. Consumatum est. There were the 54 of us, 54 14-year-old Hungarian boys. After hearing the last words of Golgotha, we couldn't stand it any longer. With bowed heads on our desks, we began to cry. Outside the bells continued to toll. It was the day of the crucifixion of Greater Hungary, June 4th, 1920, Friday.